Salam alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. To sister Sina, the brother Sina, do ka dunduni ya bakida ya. Salam anga na zuwa muku. The name is Babs Kennedy. You know, a humble servant. To kam indi em fara video anga. Nde video anga ya taba koko ya taba ki. To. Ki ya nkuri ba de kine ki boko ba de kaina ke ba. Amande ami ya taba ki really hurt you. Then I think you should, you should take this opportunity to change your ways. Because I, think, I don't think I'm going to start because you are hurt. You know, I'm not going to start because you're hurt. But I'm going to start. I'm not going to stop. You know. So when they come up and you're hurting, then you better change your ways or just forgive me or just block me. Because the ones that love my videos are more than the ones that don't like it. And all the guys that love my videos, comment my videos, like my videos, share my videos. May God richly bless you all. I really love you guys a lot. And I appreciate all the love and encouragement that you, uh, the encouragement that you gave me. More videos gonna come. It's ninety nine point nine percent loading. It's on the way coming. But I have something that I want to share with you guys. This videos is for only my Facebook families. You know what I mean by families. Are people who understand what I'm really saying people who understand the content of what I'm saying not just the tune of what is coming out from my mouth but the message of what I'm saying okay sister Sina this message is for you guys we have a lot of errors in our life definitely no one is perfect you know no one is perfect but it came to my realization that if you see an unsuccessful marriage it has a third party in it it's either a male or a female you take the problem that you have in your home discussing it with your best friend and your best friend take the problems to her best friend and her best friend take it to her best friend you discard this problem in South Africa. By the time you realize this problem is all over to Greenland, all over to Antarctica. You know, this is my advice. You know, whatever problem you're facing in your marriage home, please, please, I'm begging you for God's sake, don't Allah. Learn how to solve the problem before coming out from your house. You know, learn how to learn how to solve the problem before coming to your house. I'm begging you. You will tell your friend, the friend, just because she don't have a husband, you think she's gonna give you an advice? Even if she do have an, uh, even if she's married, she still don't want what's good for you. And any person that tells you to divorce your husband doesn't want, doesn't want anything good for you. You know, it could be a man, it could be a female. This time around, I realize that men are so cucumber, like a lot of pokey pokey, like gulma gulma and all kind of stuff. Like too much of people's affairs, you know. Men, men are above females right now, you know. Men are way greater than females. My brothers, Wallah Nzaka yi awre. Yi awre nka zakani nka da Allah. Jehuri mpere nka kajeka si albarka. You're not gonna get married to a girl and live with the girl and your friend. It's between you and your wife. I'm begging you. Mutu gana so marriage in case I'm a successful marriage. Please, you have to. This message is for females. You have to be humble. Learn how to say please and I'm sorry. You will never have a problem with your husband. Please learn how to be humble, respectful. That's what we want. 
It's not about wearing all kind of nasty dressing. You know, that's not going to impress us. Respect, humbleness is number one. Secondly, you have to look good and smell good. You know, that's one thing I really love about my African love, my, 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 my African ladies. Because you guys, you guys, like, I love you guys to the maximum because you guys know how to take care of yourself. Every human being has a scent in his body. Every human being has an order in his body. All you have to know is recognize your order and how to control the order. You know, you just have to control it. You know, you have to control that thing. Every human being has his own order. Some might, spend, some might be smelling of maggie. Some say you smell like onions. Some say I smell like carrots. You know, everybody with his scent, all you have to do is just know how to manage, know how to control your scent so that you're not going to be your husband is not gonna be tired of you you know always trying your best to look new in front of your husband you know at the same time this goes to the men also you know please know your responsibilities in the house don't be so stingy to your wives some men in the united states in europe and in africa are so damn stingy that this nigga has, a, has money, like he got paid. He got a check. But he will go to whatever to check and uh, to cash his check. <laughs> he has two accounts. He knows that his wife already recognized the Bank of America. But not knowing that he, he also have a Chase or Wells Fargo or whatever. You know? This nigga is packing the money. It's not like he's packing the money to go and build another house. Or trying to do something good for the family. But he's trying to bring another wife. You know, that is the aim. Your wife work and make like $500 a week, $300 a week. And you make it about, let's say, you know, $350, $400. And he will come home with only $200. You know, show the wife. The wife will use all the rest of the money, you know. The woman... African ladies, may God bless y'all, man. You know, you guys are very helpful. Helpful big time. You know, I know that a lot of men taking a lot of advantages. I'll keep talking. You know, a lot of men taking a lot of advantages. I'll keep talking. You know, you know, just be who you are. You have to understand that you're doing the marriage not to satisfy your husband. Or, oh, you know, you're doing it because it's sooner. You know, you're doing it because it's sooner. You don't want to be commit atrocities, man. Adulteries, all kind of stuff. You know, that's why you choose to get married. And if you married, please, anytime you choose to get married, I want you to choose to stay married. Whatever situation, whatever situation you found yourself in, please. Please. Patient is the medicine of all kind of situation. Not an exception of the husband take a gun to try to pull a trigger or take a knife to try to stab you or overcross his boundary. Then everything has to go with patience. I'm not going to say for you to be bamboo, for you to stand in front of your husband and yes sir, yes sir, he take a knife, start stabbing you and you say yes sir, I love you. No, no, mm -mm. no, no, mm -mm. I didn't say that. All right, me in casa, ni ami can say, so unza ukunu, like if you want to stay in marriage, me paucho, I want you to be patient. You know, me pese unto ubuasi. You know what I mean? On to boise. In order for your marriage and you're successful. You understand? But men can say like who say ukununu ukununu kuta ya sunen si okuta um safwa, you know, go okuta safwa. You know, men can say unjuna no fa we nu wo wo. You know? I didn't say that. Whenever you see your husband with a knife Run for your life. If you can't protect yourself, if you can fight him, fight him and bring him down. Not to kill your husband, 
but to protect yourself as self-defense. Yes, that's that's okay by me, but whatever your husband is doing, please, I'm begging you to be patient. Do not invite any third party in your married home. You know? Do not involve any third party in your married home. When you're wrong, learn how to say, I'm sorry. It's both parties, the male and the females. Most of the time, the, the guys don't want to say sorry. Whenever they know they're sorry, they don't want to say it. And this is, this is one of the secrets. Whenever it's Christmas or Salah time, these guys will find a way to have, to create a conflict between them and their wives because they don't want to spend money. She knock off to Aden Oba at 8 o'clock. Where did you come from? And blah, 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 blah. He trying to bring an issue. You know, because of this money that he want to spend for your wife to look good. You know, it's your responsibility for your wife to look good for you. You know, but this doesn't mean that females, you have to be looking good for everybody. You have to look good for your man and your man alone. You know, look good for your man and your man alone. All these things that you're wearing and posting on Facebook are something that you're supposed to wear inside your house in front of your man alone. You know? I'm tired of saying this stuff over and over. You know, I don't want to see this stuff. You know, you are beautiful, but show it to your husband. He deserves it. He earned it. You know, please, I'm begging you, man. It's not a model competition. We're not modeling on Facebook. I'm begging you, man. Learn how to dress like, come on, you're supposed to represent who you are. Don't tell me you're married. Don't put on your Facebook that you're married. Let me see that you're married. You don't have to tell me that you're married. As soon as I see you, let me know that, oh, no, this babe is a married woman. You know, please, I'm begging you, man. My sisters, I'm begging you. I didn't say you guys are not responsible. But I want you guys to be more responsible. You know, I want you guys to represent Africans. You know, represent Africans, man. You're going to see a married woman and a married man. All kind of stuff. Like, no, man, I'm not in support of this shit. You know? If this video happens to be you or you, I don't know you. But change your ways. You know? And Allah gonna give us ladder. Both of us. You know, me pamucho. So when I will yes, like me me the me dinya me dinner pawcho. Change your ways, you know. Change your ways so that all of us are gonna have a very long life. You know. This life that you see is very short, has a lot of traffic in them. You know, has a lot of traffic in them. You have to involve your money, your time, your wealth, your beauty in a life ten business. It have a lot of business that you could and you could enjoy it. Not now, but later, a judgment day time. That's when you're gonna enjoy this business. You know, it's a lifetime business, not some kind of temporal business. You know, all this thing that you build, building all kind of stuff. Dressing all kind of nasty way. You know, don't tell me you're married, woman. Don't tell me you're married. Let me know that you're married. As soon as I see you, I have to know you're married. A lot of married women on Facebook really don't look like they're married. You know, I'm begging you guys. Please, I'm begging you. If this thing hurts somebody, me pamucho. Me find me born in Chemi. You know, because me, me no no. Uh, I will never call Konko. Konko said Tun Tun. Or me who Tun Tun man ma kase ni se ni su ye pink ana ni ye fita. I call any color, every color, by it by it name. You don't like it? Change your way. You just have two options. You know, change your way so you blocked me from Facebook. But that doesn't mean that I'm gonna stop doing what I'm doing. You know, I'm just appreciating everybody who likes my video, 
everybody who comments on my video and everybody who shared my video. I love you.